Hey everybody, welcome to Grace with Paul Gray. I want to take a little hiatus from playing music for you today and talk about a little different subject. I actually need your help. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask you for money. But I need your help with something else. I've come to realize, and I am a slow learner with some things, I've come to realize that I've really uh, gotten off the path of grace. I still teach grace, grace, but I've been spending a lot of my time complaining about and bashing destructive religion and how uh, some religious groups have, my opinion, misrepresented the gospel, misinterpreted it, and uh, it hurt people in the process. Now, that's true, but I've been talking about it way too much. And uh, the Lord gave me a verse a couple of days ago over the weekend, Ephesians 4.29 from the uh, uh, old King James Version. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but only that which is good for encouragement and building up, that it may minister grace to the hearers. Well, I've been kind of violating that. And it's not that God is mad at me or bashing me or condemning me or anything. He's just helped me see that uh, I've been ministering corrupt communication because I've been spending most of my time, or at least a good portion of my time, talking about how bad things were in churches that I was a part of or that other people were a part of, rather than focusing on the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Corrupt communication in that verse primarily is referring to the law, but it can also be rehashing and recondemning destructive religion or anything else. I want to just give a little comparison here with destructive religion and its damage to a heart attack and what happens afterwards. When people have a heart attack uh, due to smoking, the doctor and the medical people treat them, get them totally off cigarettes, heal them, tell them what caused the problem, and tell them, or the biblical word is exhort them, not to smoke and to stay away from even secondhand smoke. Now, obviously, when somebody quits smoking, they feel better, they smell better, they look better, they're healthier, they're cleaner, they have more energy, they're less prone to all kinds of diseases, and you save money. I'm sure there are other benefits, too. Once somebody quits smoking, though, there's no need to repeat over and over again to them the dangers and the hazards and the ill effects of smoking. No need to rail on the tobacco producers who initial, initially knew that cigarettes were addictive and harmful, yet promoted them anyway. Now, unless a person continues to smoke or relapses, or a biblical, not a biblical, but a religious term, backslides, and goes back to smoking and just longs for the old smoking days because they were comfortable and they want to be with their friends who still smoke, only in those cases is it really necessary that we take the knowledge that we have and explain how the tobacco industry deceived them and how harmful smoking is. Now, when necessary, you can do that. Otherwise, there's no need to. You just encourage people, edify them, build them up, and in a biblical term, continue to minister grace to them. Only grace. Well, that's what I want to do with my teaching and my life and my speech and everything. I want to stop bashing religion, and I want to only talk about grace. The word grace comes from the Greek word uh, charis. is that which affords pleasure and delight and sweetness and charm and loveliness and grace of speech. And, of course, I've written a whole book called Grace Is that explains it, well, it just touches on the subject because we can never know all that grace is because it's so infinite. But uh, just taking that definition, that which affords joy and pleasure and delight and sweetness. Joy comes from the same root word, kara, gladness, the joy received from somebody, the cause or occasion of joy, things like that. Well, that's what I want to focus on. The Apostle Paul said this towards the end of his ministry in uh, Acts 20, verse 24. I'm, I'm using the Amplified Version here. He says, None of the things that I've done in life 
move me. Neither do I esteem my life dear to myself. What I want to do is to finish my course with joy. The ministry which I've obtained from, which was entrusted to me by the Lord Jesus, faithfully to attest to the good news, the gospel of God's grace, his unmerited favor, spiritual blessing, and mercy. Then Paul wrote this in Colossians 1, 25 to 29. He said, I have become the church's servant by the commission that God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness, the mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now disclosed to the Lord's people. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is the one, Paul goes on to say in verse 29, we proclaim, admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom, so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuous, strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works within me. Well, that's what I want to be doing in, I don't know if this is the last part of my career or ministry or not. You know, I'm 71 years old. Hopefully I've got another 10, 15, 20 years uh, to tell people about God's grace, however long God wants me to do it. But what I want to do in these days now is strenuously contend with all the energy that Christ so powerfully works in me is just to only teach grace, only teach the gospel, the good news of the grace of Jesus Christ, and not spend time on talking about how bad destructive religion was. Um, so what I want, I need your help with that. I, I'd ask you to pray for me. Uh, have the join my intention that I would only teach grace, focus on grace, and uh, that I, I would take the energy of Christ that works so powerfully in me and put it all to that end. So I'm, I'm not into accountability groups, but I do give you permission if you see me starting to talk too much or emphasize too much uh, bad things about destructive religion, hey, let me know, will you? I'm, I, I don't learn as quickly as I would like. So there you have it. I want to only focus on grace, and I need your help. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.